busy day started with the ceremony at 6 a.m. It is just wrapping up, and you can see here this wonderful send-off that uh, all of the 72 veterans from the tri-state area are getting at this time. They are going to uh, prepare to load that plane, and then their flight will take off around 8 a.m. this morning, so they will head to Washington, D.C. And for many of these veterans, this is the first time they are going to be able to visit these memorials. So you can imagine how much that means to them. We've got uh, veterans here that are excited to see the World War II Memorial, the Korean War Memorial, and they'll see the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier as well. That's just to name a few. This is a jam-packed day for them and their chaperones who are either volunteers or family members, and as they spend the day in Washington, D.C., they will uh, take in all the sites that they possibly can before they load back up on the plane and head back to CBG tonight. They will arrive just before 10 p.m., and of course, the public is invited to come here to CBG and give them a nice uh, welcome home celebration, and uh, for the veterans that I spoke to here briefly today, they tell me they are very much looking forward to this day. Reporting live from CBG, Natalie Clark, WLWT News 5. I'm sure they are.